All right, hello everybody. I decided today I was going to move Slay the Spire from Friday to Tuesday, which is something I've talked about doing for a little while. Um, specifically because on third on Friday and Saturday last week we did Baldur's Gate. I've had magic today. It'd probably be more Baldur's Gate with a really small chance of uh, Double Masters. And I'm not really intrigued by Double Masters, so I'm waiting for something else on MTGO. They announced this week their schedule for the next two months. They're going to old set drafts. Some Phantom, some non. Some interesting, some non. Um, next week starts... They're doing Forgotten Realms, which I don't really care about. Then it's Rise of the Eldrazi, which I'll probably touch. Uh, then it's War of the Spark, which I really don't care about. Then it's like Cons, Triple Cons. That sounds sweet. And you know, it's like half on, half off, you know. So we'll, we'll check out those. Maybe check out the ones we're not interested in, too. Who knows? But today, it's Fire Day. And because I sort of made this um, change kind of last minute, I didn't really figure out what class I was going to play, so I just put them all up here. So, did you know there's a bunch of Arknights characters still that we haven't done? There's, there's a lot of Arknights characters. There's a couple Arknights characters we haven't played yet. Uh, there's this one. There's... No, not here. No, not you. No, not you. No, not whoever this OC is. You? I think you're... I think you... I think this is an art Yeah, this is an art. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is, yeah, okay. I actually remember this character. So... And they mentioned... They both mentioned Doctor. In there. But... Ah. But the other ones that we have available for us, I'm just going to show them off. These are the ones I thought of. Uh, we got Colorful Brush. Um, you play as the brush. I don't... Who knows? I think they're an add-on on, that goes on top of a class. Is I think how they work, but we'll see. That might make them perfect for when we have all these enabled. Um, the avocado. Um, you know that enemy in Act 2 that has like 14 plated armor and every time it takes a hit it loses one? They just called it the avocado. This is one that would likely fit into Downfall if Downfall wasn't full. Um, we've got some dude I've never seen before, I don't know. Um, looks like he uses focus, like, straight up, so, like, must be using defect as, like, a base up. Um, so that's... Like that, that, that that's a, a bit. <laughs> Look, I don't, I don't know anything about this dude. He, I'm sure he exists. Um, we can play as a staff. That that's. Yup. This this is this is a mod. We can play as just the mysterious staff. Has it done anything? Is it the wizard? Or is the wizard the wizard? Who knows? Um, There's a paladin in here. I don't think I give a shit about the paladin, dude. There's bees? First event of every act is a hive event. Queen's Banner. Oh, this is weird. So you upgrade... Yeah, I see this. That, that's, that's paladin. Yeah, bees, we need to on them, they go. Bees. 
Bees turned to one million. Okay, good to know. Oh, I like this bee in the back. It's like happy to be here. Love bee. This is bees one or bees two. Uh. Oh. Um. Then we got this one. This is a uh, problem sleuth. Um. Whatever card purges, gain one time HP and all enemies lose a strength this turn. So they must have a lot of like cards that are single use removed from deck. I don't know if that's gonna be purge or removed from deck or purge like once per fight. Like hyper exhaust. Um Yeah. This one might be a big goof. Like, you know, you have to take the obvious warning. Like this, this this one might not like I don't know how real a class this one actually is. It could just be a big joke. And then we have the spell scribe. Um, the look here reminded me of um, astrologer with the stars, but they have like spell mods, like create a card bits. So, anyway, that's what we have. Any, any votes, any direction? We have, people like the brush, people like the avocado. We have, we have some, we have some, we have multiple, uh, multiple arc knights. Curious about the brush, the avocado, staff intrigues me. B is a good time. Staff and brush intrigue me. I'm feeling like, yeah, I'm feeling one of the weird ones, like the staff or br like. So the staff might be just a normal character as a staff. The brush might be just actually weird. I don't know how this is gonna work. Like, are we are we taking another class on top of this with the brush? And like, let's 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 see what the brush has going on. This one seems like the most that has this has the highest um, odds of being like something real unique, you know? Because it looks like we're we're painting cards that already exist with effects. So seventy five ninety, and we yup. <laughs> Take a look at their starting deck. We've got strikes. They are exactly strikes. We have defends. They are exactly defends. When this card is added to your hand, set it to the default color. Default red. Red deals damage. See mini tutorial. We'll see the mini tutorial in a moment. We have to be in a combat. It says to pull it up. Ignite, set two random cards in your hand to red. Okay. So we're not playing with other classes stuff, we're playing with like a range for the paintbrush to color over. Uh, we can't ever choose this, this one's illegal. Um, we can upgrade a card out the gates. We need a full potion belt. Oh, losing all our gold to obtain a rare card could be interesting, but that's always hard when you don't know what the class is all about, because you can really misjudge what is and isn't supported. You know what I mean? Also, really early shop possible. So I don't think I'm on that. I think I'm, I think I'm okay with Entering really early shop. Um, these upgrades are like fine. Sure. 
All right. So it's time to consult the tutorial. Add, oh, thanks, game, and pull it up without me clicking. Add color to color, or is your amateur extra effects? Please read this tutorial carefully. Red. Evoke effect. Deal three damage to a random enemy. Strengthen effect. Increase damage by two. What's the difference between an evoke effect and a strengthen effect? Also, I guess our images are... This is fairly normal. There's a very, very, very large subset of... Uh, <laughs> of, of, of mods that start their life... Uh, not in English. Okay, green is game two block. Strength effect increase block by one. So, like, this is like if it has block, plus one block. If it doesn't have it... Evoke, reduce the cost of a random colored card in your hand. So paint, okay. So the gold card will up let you reduce any card in your hand by one until these hands strengthen or not. Strong color effect. If colored triggers its evoke effect and strengthens the strength effect of other cards again. Weak colored effect. Only triggers weak. When a card is played, strew a strong color effect. Remove its color. When a card is triggered weak and replace the color. At the end turn of a card is not retained trigger its coloring and remove its color. Only cards of the colorful blush can be... Okay, so we can't do this on other mods. It sounds like when you play a card, you get the evoke, and all your other cards in hand get strengthened. And if you overwrite colors, you just auto get the weak effect. And you auto get the weak effect if you can't play the card. The numbers and tutorials here. Alright, I guess we'll see. This is probably, I mean, playing with this probably is going to make a lot more sense. So... Ignite. So that overrode it. Oh! It plus two damaged. So if I play this, okay, so every time you play a card with a color, it ups it the the the, the strength of all the others, and the evoke effect is. extra text on there. Strange. Aggressive. Deal three damage. Set a random card to your hand of red. Turn to your draw pile. Okay, so this draws three and paints the first card. This is like a really strong block that also has draw two cards if it if it's painted. And this is like the yeah, order is gonna be really. I'm gonna go with the draw here. Draw three seems like a always. I think I might skip the shop. All right, so. Right now, charge draws. This was red, then it got over. Oh, okay. So this was red. It got overwritten to green. And because it got overwritten, it its effect triggered.
then this one got overwritten. Mm -mm. But overwriting to gold doesn't seem to do anything. It just lowers the cost. However, our evokes are going way up. Okay. Seems like being able to paint mult. It didn't overwrite it to gold, but it gave it the gold effect. Because I guess this card was gold. Gold empty. So I go... Upgrade. Upgrade all cards in hand if this card is painted. Oh, that was extraordinary. Okay. We want a lot of cards that add the paint. Yeah, I'll lose the health for that money. But... Buy a card packed. Like, yeah. Looks like we have some leakage. All right, that's good to know. I always enjoy that sort of thing. It's kind of funny. Sure. <laughs> when you play empty, trigger its weak card effect one more time. Exhaust card in your hand. Gain five gold of its work. Or ten of its red or green. Draw one card of it, the skill sword, set it to green. Draw one card and set it to green. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Seven to fourteen. Buying this might not be worth it because it's going to take a lot of time to make up fifty-four gold. You know what I mean? Continuous. Ah. Oh, when you play empty, like literally there is a card called empty. Wait, this has stray thought? Is it is a gold empty, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey. We are learning about colors and how this very silly looking paintbrush works. <laughs> um this is probably the immediate upgrade because this is like the freest thing in the world. So all right, we're gonna fight an upgraded boss. It is regen on the trio. Okay, um, this retains, so I wanna hold it for a while. Oh, Unity, thank you very much for the, the resub. I appreciate it a lot. Also appreciate it. <laughs> Watch the Shadowverse ones on you. Let's see, sorry, uh, watch the Shadowverse ones on YouTube. It's fun seeing how broken they get. Yeah, the, the YouTube ones are currently, I think, three or four behind, so you'll get to see some new ones um, soon. Yeah, I wasn't there for the Shadowverse ones, but you can assume I was intensely vibrating in the back. <laughs> right, we're going to go block, block, deal damage, and we'll retain this empty. Yeah, there's seven different Shadowverse classes and you've currently played through all of them. Uh, I'm just a little little behind on the uploads as is normal. Alright, hopefully we can kill one of these. Okay, so Sharp Mind, draw a card, set it to green. 
Flare was red, now green. Ignite. Now we have two reds. Then we go empty. That'll make one of the color cards down, and it'll up the random damage element on all of them. Um, we also have the free block coming in from Flare. Every time we play a card with a color, it ups the passives. Uh, the attack passive by two and the block passive by one. All right. So there's like an ordering component to this as well. Um, I'm going to upgrade my hand here. Because I think we can deal lethal damage to you. There we go. And I'm ready yeah, so it's not just like, it's not just a, you play a synergy card, it changes the colors. It's also like, as you're, uh, as you're playing out your uh, cards, the colors are interact, cascading interactions onto each other. Yeah, anytime you play a card with a color, all other cards that are already painted get plus on their passive abilities. Um, okay, so you got a rotation going if you have a, like, if you have a specific color plan in mind for that turn. Well, okay. Um, I mean, you would. <laughs> well. Let's go ahead and spend a potion to not be... So the, the, the status is we can't paint. Yeah, thank you very much for the sub, I appreciate it. Alright, we we're at the end of the fight here where we can just block for a while and... That deals with this last one. That's good, because this one is the, the upgraded elite that gets us our first key. What do I need right now in this deck? There's a couple more sources of painting cards. We have a couple, but, like, we need more consistent access to, like, adding to our cards. Have you seen any specific color mixtures, or has it just been strictly RGB with interactions in between those three? Uh, actually, it's been red green and gold. Those are the only okay. things we've seen. More chalk them out. The deep Dark Fantasy. Gain strength equals to your imagination, then your imagination equals to your strength. What? Let the machine live your fantasy? When, hold on. Your desires are now met. Yeah. I, I don't know what that means. colorblind attack yeah i guess that's why it lists that the card is red or the card is green hmm well, the copy's pretty straightforward <laughs> <laughs> mm. i do like the fact that copy has retain on upgrade yeah Improv is a lot of free colors, but which is good because they all, you know, cascade and activate each other. Um, might be a lot more, like, might be a lot stronger than it looks. Because it can either yeah, be... Yeah, especially considering that, like, copy is probably, if you have a plan in mind and you know how you're going to cycle your stuff, then you can just make dupes in advance. But with improv... We're still building some stuff, so like it would probably be more beneficial. Yeah, I don't I have no idea what this card does. Yeah, it's just a thing we haven't seen yet, I guess.
Then we charge paints too on the upgrade. We're gonna find out what it does. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'll take in invulnerable every so few turns. Charge lets us color more cards, which is what we would like at the moment. Mm -hmm. If you don't play a card that has a, a card passive, you still, like, when you discard it, you still get it. I do appreciate that googly eyes are an evergreen mod. Always. Okay. So we want to play our block colored cards first because we care more about the damage up and I should play the strike because this passive will trigger an end step right <laughs> oh god well that worked out that's so much All right, I'm gonna let the machine live our fantasy and see what happens. We have no imagination. to inspiration. Okay, is, maybe that could be is that an investment title? in the DDF play. Yeah, it, well, is that the same as imagination? Eh, hard to tell at this point, but like, I don't know, it feels like it synergizes with imagination if it's inspiration. Okay, yeah. Yeah, the, the, I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, the, that's a different word. I'm kind of going off my gut here this though hmm. the other thing I wonder is if this is like a though inspiration is like plus for all your evoke effects does this is that a static that goes away this is like a flex I'm gonna pick it up to see how it plays I want to know if it's like a one time one turn thing or you know whatever Alright, um, coming in for 11. Three block, three block. If I go three block, three block, and an actual defend, that's all of my. Oh, I don't have an actual defend. Um,. I will take four damage, I don't care. Yeah, this is pretty solved right now. I'm gonna pass. It is a flex. Doesn't say that it's a flex, but it is a flex. Good to know. Just go for the throat. All right. Hey, hold on. 
<laughs> hey, wait a minute. Wait, what if I can rev the engine before I play this out? Okay. We get three turns against this without having to do anything. And you get block, hello. still here because it's still in my hand oh I I guess the card answers itself it does say when this card is in your hand yeah it just got it just got to hang out in there all right um believe the one that gives me block strength sharp mind okay deep dark fantasy destroy s5 it is inspiration okay this mod has some translation issues Understandable. Mods have that at times. No! Oh! oh, thanks. Lord Chalcom, you got my back. Thank you for having my back when nobody else did. Thanks, Tinker. I know you got my back. Yo, what? Yo, what? Yo. 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 Give me that strength. Yo. Dark Fantasy does seem very powerful. We just have to have strength, or, you know. I I'm just glad the plan has begun to form. Yeah. Imagine you want Hidden Night Dead upgrades so you can choose what it hits rather than not. Yeah, that's true. Oh, that's Joker's trick. <laughs> oh, that's... That doesn't matter because our, our opponent's dead, but that's Joker's trick we gotta be aware of. I do really like enlarge though. I do really want to be big and strong. I think I want enlarge as well. Now what are we fighting? This should be fine. 38 against.
I think we're okay. I think we can deal enough damage against the slime boss. Okay. And then let the machine live your fantasy. Now we have six strength. <laughs> oh, Flare is auto red as well. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we talk, we are talking about destroy ass. We've got the uh, let the machine live your fantasy button centaur style. Create you red. Yes. Okay. Is this normal? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Okay, well that was end of Act 1. Whoa! <laughs> Solid gold. <laughs> Solid gold. Uh, also colorful form. When you play... Set a random card in your hand to a random color. Okay, so this just gives you infinite... Infinite colors. Infinite colors! Laser! Drill! Frenzy! Sure. Cube! That, 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 Spike! That's what we get. We get, we get every... Yeah, let's... let's, let's this sounds busted as hell. But I want, mm -hmm. I want to engage... Infinite form, you know? Caller's the easy one here. It's always the easy one in my mind. <laughs> this one's been really... Sh like, getting to learn what this does has been a bit of a treat, but damn, if it, you know, it's not working out, that's, that's fun. Um, Alright, so we want our double elite run here, which is over this way. And then, I guess we're just taking this conga line. Yeah, where are we? I always have my Gaia memories too far away for when these kind of colors comes up. Anyway. Sharp Mind is always really good. Um, I don't think I'm doing anything this turn. We can play as the Avocado. We got that as a... If we're ever so inclined. Yeah, this one retains, so... No reason to spend it quite yet.
<laughs> anyway, I near full block that on, like, God, that was on my f form turn. Time for him beginning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we've been biggened. Charge this is a, a starting color. Mm. For random in combat, deal seven damage to, to trigger to a random enemy and trigger the strong color effect. I think I'd rather just have firm basis here, just start adding. Just start adding colors to things. Yeah. I was about to ask what it upgraded to. I think three? Or no, no, sorry. This has got to upgrade to target. It's the same as one of the cards in our opener. All right. This, this, is, this is a card in our deck. Done. Oh, these are not base. I guess that means the color won't apply to them, and that'll still be okay. We'll just work around our cards we do have. Yeah, you just have life drain on tap whenever you need it. Yeah, maybe I don't care about the. I actually don't like the paper brush. I don't like an unplayable card in her hand. Hey, bud. <laughs> Scry all. <laughs> That's funny. We can buy Panache. Can I? It would probably be a but okay. Luckily, it's a one-shot. It's kind of exhausting. So I probably even pick up Toolbox. I always like this one a lot. You get to start with, like, a, a chosen colorless card. And those are pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nah, I'm good. Alright, sadly, upgrading color for form doesn't make it two, it makes it not exhaust. I think it's time to make these target. Alright, who's first up? Alright, the book. Tangible, so I don't care. Mm. 
<laughs> anyway, there's full block. The fact that the bites can't be hit by color is a little bit of a, a downside. Yeah, I do kind of wonder, like, how much you are actually allowed to mod, or if you would even be aware of what you could mod in here. Okay. Okay. The wounds are bad, but we're dealing with them. Form, please. Yeah, I definitely made a mistake by adding the bites. The deck is working a lot worse with it. That sucks. Better fuse this damage. It does feel a little weird when like regular cards get into the pool when you're dealing with extensive mods. Mm -hmm. Please, thank you. Um, Man, yeah, the that was just a mistake, huh? 
It's okay. Um, color reform. Ignite these two. I full block on accident. Nice. Um, large, firm basis. I guess that passive doesn't go off when you discard it. The card removal service is going to be busy tonight, that much I know for sure. Or joke him, go! Okay, so parallel or go for the throat. <laughs> parallel. I think that's better. Say, snack out. Well, goodbye, snack out. <laughs> Remind me to just, uh,. I have a thing that I'm gonna be. Anyway, we're still gonna be baffled, but it's okay because I don't care. Alright, so we wanna set those two to gold. Okay. A lot yeah, of card right. draw. Now what do we got here? Thwack. All right. <laughs> 
don't know if I'm too really this idiot. Um... <sighs> yeah, we're just getting oh, plastered gosh. by those. Like, every turn I get reminded of my mistake. There are plenty of reasons a paintbrush could use teeth. Those are just called pens. Oh boy. Alright. Continue not spending any... Any energy. Okay. So that's turn one. Our deck's still good, it's just got, you know, a little weakness in it. Wow, it set the color then. Hey, that's actually really cool. Nice. It set the color then did the cost reduction. And now we're intangible. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I'll take another overheat. 
<laughs> I'm all about the overheated. All right, uh, there's colorful form, but can we? I do appreciate the relic that just lets you do reps before bed. Oh my god, like that Chicago actually... Kira. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good relic. I like this one because now every time we obtain a curse, that'll be help out our health. Um... Seven strength. I'm glad we did pick up the imagination air quotes to strength, strength to imagination because it is busted. Yeah, that's ramping up something fierce. Even with the bites in your hand, you're still making this stuff work. Yeah. it later. Yes. Sure. Cool. No reason we wouldn't lift here. We're going for a victory against this friend. Retain your hand plus three strength. There's the empties. Oh boy. We're gonna enlarge. Okay, yeah, I was curious to see what the empties do, but yeah, they're basically just cells for uh, passives to ramp. Yeah, but also, there's zero right now because, like, whenever I play a card with a, uh, you know, color on it, it generates another one. And also, every time I play a red one, plus one strength. So this is generated for free every turn, and it's plus one strength. So. Yeah, you're just firing blanks that work off of your passives and just more ammo to cascade off of. Yes. Um... I think I want to... yourself off get this one ready to kill yeah we can't paint colorless cards we turned our uh, strikes into uh, 
we, we turn our strikes into bites and it's been a bad move ever since. He just has five semi-dead cards in hand that don't interact with any of the other stuff. My strength's just whatever. I have 74 Eventually, block. Just numbers and just stop counting. I have 70 more block from somewhere. Yeah, sure, alright. for some more strength. Empty is red. Ignite my hand, please. I haven't attacked yet. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I see why it's called Imagination, because that's the name of the card. Um, yeah. So you burn an energy at the end of your turn to gain inspiration, but that's just at the end of turn, so that's if you have the energy. I think this card's fine. Like, if I have a bad hand... Oh, we then want... at least that energy is going to somewhere substantial. Yeah, and like, we already gain health off the urn. I'm thinking this because we get a we have a curse like her. Funny how often modded characters want calipers. Yeah, cops, huh? Of course. Who could have fucking foreseen that, huh? Is there a shop in our way? That's five fights. No dice. I will give up a. Uh, I will give up an elite to not take five fights running. Thank you. I do appreciate that you can just plan your route at the start. That's really good. Yeah, that, that is highlight path, which is which copy with comboed with colored map. So you might look at this and think like, with with uh, the the map like, uh, you know, maybe you don't like the 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 orange or the uh, purple that I have here, those are all settable. Like, you can change these colors however you like. So, if you don't like, um, like, uh, you know, a, a purple or a green and they don't work for you, because, like, they look too similar, you can alter those. Nice. So, I really like that a lot in the mod. Originally, when I when I turned the mod on, I thought it was actually like not great because there were too many colors that were too close to each other. But it ended up being like a lot better than it felt. Anyway, this is gonna be like yeah, like I, I deeply appreciate the accessibility. Yes. And here's one million damage. Yeah, I love to customize colors. Yeah, I need. I'll, I'll show you at the end after this. I don't think I've shown that on this mod in a long time. I do like it too because it's like, I assume that while you can automate your route, you can also just stop and be like, actually, you know what? This uh, this runs going in a way that makes me feel like I want to go a different a different branch. Yeah, all it does is circle them. You're not, you know, beholden to anything. Good stuff.
This is getting silly. <laughs> Yes, overheated, got it. That was what I was after. Anyway, that's turn one. I didn't kill any of them, but that's like the point. This is going to be really funny when the heart pulls out a powerful super move and you can just pull 64 block out of your ass. Right. art on this kind of fucking rules just want you to know <laughs> well, we got some deal with the shades like that's one stroke certain death yeah it's technically worse to play this defend everybody don't make that mistake <laughs> bolter for shades All right, I don't think we can deal enough damage to kill here Also, it is a much more honest fight, so that is giving it some points for me. I might not be able to kill here, because... That's fine, I have... 11 strength. I don't care if they all come back. Yeah, we're a brush. What's up? Hey, What's uh... <laughs> No, I don't care about playing imagination this turn. We're gonna go ignite. Extraordinary. Just instantly make your hand explode. Nope. That was on my end, don't. Don't worry about that. There we go. I had to, I, I had to pop out a thing on my end. So, anyway. Can't do it. It's a real nice event. But I, I don't take the third key till quite late. You know what? I've come around on the bites, just as just because I've uh, framed them in a different way here. It's just <laughs> like your build is so fucked up and incredible that like 
these things are just your limiters. Clearly. You're just giving yourself a handicap to make it honest. The weighted, your weighted training bites. Yeah, exactly. Graffiti plus, that's... All right, so we get our shop. Max hasn't looked like it does anything. Chemex is always hit and miss on mods. Some mods literally just don't use it. Some mods love it. Jump, huh? Also, yeah, speaking of bites, do you want to get rid of any of them or do the, does that even matter? You're in a one. We'll, we'll call that good. I already have two enlarges. I don't think I need another. We'll save the rest of our money for removing the curse that's going to be in our deck here. Oh, shit. Alright, you got to have... I don't think I need apotheosis on this. Yep, that was... We do kind of already have apotheosis. Yeah, we have apotheosis at home. Great paint and rune. Um, play the empty. Play the upgrade paint, targeting you. Play the enlarge. Play rude on you. Okay. Damn. God, yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying the paint. This just a stupid amount of things that it can do. Yep, 22 and coming. That's with weekend, by the way. If you're not familiar with this jerk. things because they will throw themselves up ah, intangible turn if you didn't notice the incoming for that turn was like one million has its own uh, relics for your retain. Like, I generally don't keep a uh, webcam on me, but I'm, like, literally just shrugging, like, what the hell. Yeah. Golden or golden red. Wah! I'm sorry, Deem? Yeah, some. Hmm. We're, we're deeming 40 damage to all enemies. I mean, sometimes you just want a big card to slam down and be like, I don't feel like playing a hand today. I feel like just doing damage. <laughs> oh no. The Maw. Called it.
I'm very happy that Colorful Form has, like, a fake innate for us, because it's so powerful when it's going. I'm honestly really happy with all of the stuff that we picked up. Except the other yeah. stuff. It's fine, the mites do work for having both of like a real attack and a uh, a healing mechanism. Obviously we'd we'd have our burn, but I like having a constant healing mechanism. It's tiny, but it yeah, it's there. Extraordinary. Upgrade pain. Upgrade the hand. Deep Dark Fantasy, uh, I now have 23, uh, on the secondaries. Is that good? Is that... Six, dude, six. Mm, chain reaction, you mean our whole deck? Yeah, do you... Anyway, let's lift. Actually, yeah, let's lift. So we're gonna get a curse from this. <laughs> I love it when other mods on. Actually, it's good. Anyway, let's lift. Now we have plus six strength on turn one. Let's go ahead and get rid of our problem. Oh, that's funny. I mean, for what it's worth, I do like the idea of just you no selling the heart even harder than you potentially yeah. could. It would have been cool to buy this artifact to get us plus six strength forever, but I feel like I just want to get the curses out of the deck as we go. Mm -hmm. um, this one seems Anything interesting. Anything else you need your gold for? This is the only on the turn you play, you take half damage. I don't know if that's worth it, though. I think I'm just going to... Pull. We still have one more shop remaining. Okay. So, so there's gonna be a post. Uh, there's always a post shop. Oh right, right, right. Like the little trick before the final boss. Well, that only transforms into. Hmm. Anything here I don't like, or might want a different card over. Not really. This really. Yeah, let's take defend. <laughs> oh shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Let the machine live your Fantasy X2, huh? That actually becomes way more busted on the second copy. Yeah, I'll take the Alright, um... It's parallel, we want overheat and charge as colored, so we're gonna go overheat. Actually, we're gonna play the empty card. We're gonna play the charge. We're gonna play the sharp mind. We're gonna play in large. We're gonna play flare. We're gonna overheat for overheat. We're gonna overheat for overheat. We're gonna firm basis. And then we're gonna bite twice. I'm pretty sure Giant Head with Googly Eyes was a fetish that we saw in the RX Bumble video. Now I can just retain this hand of greed <laughs> until its day comes. <laughs> it's 
Sure, graffiti into graffiti. Graffiti into colorful form. Infinite colors. Yeah, I'll, I'll always take infinite colors. Thank you very much. So Hand of Greed just has retained natural. Yeah, now that we have a... Uh, uh, <laughs> Indeed, this is we, we do have the deep dark danger. We have, we have we have two of them in keeping with our our true demon power. Um, let's go ahead and light up. So that makes. Firm retain. I don't know how I hit two cost reductions there. I know I hit one because it was green or it, it was gold. But oh no, okay, I know how it happened. So the card was gold, right? Mm -hmm. When you overwrite the secondary effect, it triggers. So like when you overwrite this gate ten block, it triggers. So the card was gold, and I played a gold card. It overwrote the gold for minus one, and it used the gold on the card I played for minus two. So that actually did have a reason it happened. Holy shit. Um, speaking of, like, colors... Ignite... Eighty-eight damage, huh? There's our money. Get paid. Well prepared. Yeah, so if I overwrite gold, it will reduce cost anyway. Yeah. Uh, are we going deeper into red, or do you feel like sell is a better option? I think deeper into... I like this because this is actually a really nice card for the time cops, right? Yeah. Because we can set up for, like, a nonsense turn after... Damn it, I did not want to last combat. Whatever. Whatever. Um... Light up targeting you. Overheat targeting you. Charge. This should work. And then we'll retain Deep Dark. Dark two. Hmm. Is that good? <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I love this deck. Uh, die.
sure. All right. We got a recall, obviously. All right, time cops. Now, we know time cops are jerks. We know how this works. Two enlargers in my opener, huh? Five more cards on this turn. Let's go... Upgrade paint. Light up. Batch. Extraordinary. Defend plus. Chain flare. <laughs> Alright, that was turn one. I still have nine strength. Okay, deep dark fantasy now. You'll recharge. Oh my god. Alright, so here's colorful form. Red attack. Well prepared. Because we're about to hit a turn change. there mattered. Alright. This turn is game. Holy shit. Check this out. Uh-huh. Then we're gonna play Deep Dark. And then what does this one say? 45 damage and 58 to a random enemy? Is that what our zero cost card does that upgrades my hand? Or how about 41 times 3? Gain 56 block. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. We're, we're completely invincible. Every card I play does 55 damage and gains me 20 million block. Also, I'm invincible. All right, the paintbrush rules. Once we learned the mechanics, it became really fun to kind of play around with how the cart, the, the, the flipping goes. Colorful. It's form. a really cute mod, and it turned out to just be wacky as hell. Yeah. Uh, place your bets, everybody. We are at the heart, so it is time for you to bet on what our score was going into this. Um, we still have you know the heart to beat afterwards, but uh, this is where the bets are placed. 
So. Good. I see everybody's kind of got an idea of where they're thinking. The bets, the, the things are generally around. Understandable, I think, that, that there's some, we've had some pretty powerful runs in here. Alright, looks like, yep, and with that, that is definitely everything in. Let's go ahead and hit the button. You slash heavily. 9-1-1. Who was closest to that without going over? I think that was a geneticist. With 9-20. Nope, that's, that's, price is right rules being that that is over. Uh, we are looking at... Is that Jeebus Hammer? It does indeed look like Jeebus Hammer at 850. Yeah. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, con yeah. Congratulations, as is always. Um, the, 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 the rules are price is right. Closest without going over. So. Uh, God. <laughs> Great talk. Thank you for gifting out a sub to Jeebus Hammer. Jeebus Manor. I think I said a hammer the first time. That's not correct at all. Hammers and manners are two different things. Also, I don't know if I thanked President Ark for the sub earlier. I'll say it again now, just in case I did. Anyway, let's go beat up uh, uh, the heart. This should be wild. The only weakness we have is that we might die on turn three. Like, that is a possible problem we have. Is like... That 60 damage incoming could just kill us. So we're going to have to be a little careful. Damn, I can't believe they won't let you lift in here. I'm, I'm too... I'm, I'm, I've already lifted three. I mean, you can always be more buff. Let's check out our final shop. Oh, uh -huh. no. I'm gonna click on this rum rusher link. <laughs> that, that, that is, that is our buddy right there. That's right, soul bad guy. Damn, they're looking sharp. <laughs> uh, this seems good. Like, that's just really good for the opener. Right? You can just play statuses and get them out of there. Yeah, sure. Um, and we'll take Flex Potion for our final potion slot. All right. My hope is to kill one of these two on turn one, as is the usual. They don't have any artifacts to start because they'll be removed. I'll take Dramatic Entrance. That should have some... Hefty lifting to go with it. Yeah, this is not too great of an opening. As a large, actually, no, this is fine. So we get a large setup rune, setup deep dark. Play that. Play rune targeting you. Play deep dark. Dramatic entrance. And then recharge. We're gonna take a little bit of damage, four total, but we'll heal that off just by playing cards. Um, sharp mind parallel. Awkward, but yeah, not a fan of that much damage. Okay, um, colorful form heals some off. Batch product heals some off. 
bite heals them off. Graffiti. Large. And then we go deep dark. Um. Extraordinary just kills, yeah. It does. But I want to play a little bit, like, because we're going up to the heart. Any health, we want to get some health back, yeah. Any bites that we can use to finish this off are going to be a little bit more important. Yeah, any two, even two health. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you, I guess I could have set the incense, but that's that's fine. I ain't, I ain't going that deep on it. Deep breath. All right, we have starting block, so that's good. Uh, we want to enlarge, ignite to batch product. Play this. Play deep dark. Ignite both these cards. Play the bite. Plus two strength. All right. So here comes all our, you know, statuses. And now, okay. Now we just have to deal with this. This can actually be played. Luckily, we have uh, the greens, and those are going to be some really nice helpers. Set two cards to green, please. damage here, and now here's the incoming 60. We just need to survive that. This looks like you're in a good position to do that. Yes. We got deep... Oh! We got deep... We got deep dark again. I think that means that's the end, because these will turn correct. Uh, beans. So we're good. No, oh, yeah, the end. the end in the good way. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Just, okay, that sucked. That's actually horrible, but whatever. Um, set a light up and you... Deep dark. Yeah, also, like, take a look at the block thingy now. We're, we're good forever. Yeah, no, you're good. We're good forever. I don't know why I was even worrying. You're good. All right, and then 
we retain the light. And we fly. All right. That was the only turn I was worried about, was that 16. Everything else I feel like is just ours forever. Why is this deck so fucking stupid? <laughs> okay, I drew colorful form and I, my turn's not over yet. I drew colorful form and my turn's not over yet. It's still my turn. My turn's not over yet. I'm going to retain the void, asshole. Goodbye. <laughs> Love to retain the void. Well, I gotta say, the bites sure did their damnedest to ruin our deck, but uh, you made them work. Yeah, they tried. Alright, anyway, this card can only be played if it costs zero. I ended that fight one health above where I started. Beautiful. <laughs> So yeah, the, one of the game changers that we actually had was the second copy of Deep Dark. The yeah, when it flipped and just gave you a dupe. Yeah, okay, yeah, because like the first copy of Deep Dark is like set your um, inspiration to like nine or ten, because that's what our our you know our our we don't have any. The second copy goes put your inspiration to like thirty, and then put your strength up to that as well. And all of a sudden, with 30 inspiration, all your color effects are going like plus 30, plus 40. So. Ooh, it's got art! Oh! Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Hell yeah. Okay, 1411 might be as close to we can get as, like, in numerics to, to an A-cab. Then, yes, we, we are a little late on the pro happy pride, but we can still be happy wrath. <laughs> Chapter 1, the paintbrush and the power of love. <laughs> yes. The paintbrush found it could not defeat fascism with the power of love. <laughs> Chapter 2, the power of incredible violence. Oh! Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Hold on. These things just work themselves out, dude. It's fine. Yeah. Alright. This was a fun class. I had a lot of fun with a floating paintbrush. Um... I feel that once you, un the mechanics have a little bit of a, a curve to it, because like understanding weak versus strong, like is is like a, a you know a weird bit. But like once you play with it, it becomes really like uh, intuitive. It's just oh, whenever you play a card, plus the numbers on your card, and then like that that's just that's the weak effect. The, and the strong effect is the number on the card. So. Like that, that it, 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 there's only three colors, so it's not overwhelming. It's not like there's a whole rainbow. You know, we could like I, I've, I've we played like, Remu for instance has eight different elemental effects, which becomes too much to track. You know what I mean? I think the big thing that I liked about this mod is specifically that, um, 
the colors don't have uh, very rigid plans that lock you into them. So you are allowed to, like, like, there's a lot more room to flex around and gradually transition into a plan that you like. But you can also just, like, uh, splash however you see fit. Like, gearing towards, like, prioritizing a single color is strong, but at the same time, Play your splash off. game is also strong, so you can afford to mix and match right. as you work your way up. Because we had, um, our card. Where's our card? Um... The plus strength. Here it is. Because we were all, we wanted to be about red cards. But, like, at the same time, like, any color was doing good. But this is fun. Yeah, like, we were on the red plan, but... Okay, um, another... We could do other colors, and they were helping red anyway. Another thing to note about Deep Dark... Um, Deep Dark, at the end, had us on, like, 30... Uh, not imagination, but inspiration. Do you know what the going rate for inspirations class is? Worse than in flame it's focus mm. imagine a run of like playing the defect with 30 focus just uh. oh this is funny it's missing a second plan for replayability every card just seems to go in I agree with that this, this, this is Usually there's a lot of different directions a class can go, but with only three colors, there's not a lot, like, you're not going to be di diving too deep in other directions. Especially I guess that's the other thing, like, all roads end up converging on the big one. Well, right, because, like, red is damage, green is block, and gold is cost reduction. You can't go all gold, because then you don't do damage. You can't go all green, because you're just playing block. You know, but... So that sort of thing. So, like, that, that that's something we said about it, then that it's probably going to be, like, you know, a, a couple of playthroughs. But that said, I think it's a strong couple of playthroughs. Also, you know, you need to play with all your rainbow cards. That's pretty great. Colorful. The art on these is very simple, like that. Yeah, I definitely had a lot of fun watching this. So... So yeah, anyway, that's going to be it. Um, as you can see over here, we still have many friends to go. You know, our, our avocado, who knows what they might have. Um, I, I, Ty mentioned that the queen is some nonsense. Perhaps that'll be fun to... That should be fun to, to, to check out. We have another of our, our relics, just a staff. So, we are, we're, we're, we've got a lot to go. Anyway... Beads, beads. So, anyway, uh, oh, one last thing I wanted to show because I mentioned I was going to show this color map config. So this is what I had mentioned here: is that you can click on any of these and change. And their... it gives you a slider and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. So if I want, so if I want the chest to be lighter blue. Easy, you know, or like say this green and this red are too, you know, close for for coloration. I can make it a, a more of a, a what is it, cyan. So Okay, and they also let you like play around with the outlines and stuff. Yeah, as so well. you, can, you can have a dark, you can have a, a, a colored outline or a non existent outline. So a lot of uh, customization in that one, which I think is very, very strong for that one. Of all of my quality of life ones, even Minty Spire, the map and highlight path are the two that I basically don't want to ever go without. Minty Spire is a ton of little little bits. You know, display the name of the current boss at the top. Total incoming damage. Um, uh, add some coloration for text based on what it is. So, a lot of, a lot of different bits here. I wouldn't want to go without googly eyes, honestly. Well, th that 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 one goes without saying. I mean, the, also the fact that Googly Eyes is uh, very smart about what it chooses to put on <laughs> and where. So, 
All right. That's going to be it for tonight. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Vibrius, for jumping on in. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I rarely ever get the chance to just, like, sit shotgun with this. So, yeah, it yeah. was a lot of fun. Again, and thanks to you. Thanks to everybody who joined today. Thanks to Unity, President Arc, and Crate Talk for uh, subbing today. Or handing out a sub. Congrats to Jeebus Manor for the victory. Uh, if you want to catch more, you can always follow. Uh, 7 o'clock on weekdays, Central, uh, is when the stream is which means tomorrow at 7. Uh, we'll probably be doing some more Forge. Um, Thursday, I think we're starting a new game with Luke. Um, I'm like 80% sure that's going to be Child of Light. That's the one that uh, Luke's been... Oh, okay, the, uh, the Ubisoft one. Yes, Luke's been hyping that one up. I've never played it, so... Uh, we haven't had a lot of games like that when we're doing things together, so... And then, uh, yeah, so... That's no streams. Uh, obviously, Battle Network comes back this weekend. Yeah, I was about to say, like, some stuff's happening on Saturday, whatever. Yep. Or so. Sunday. Yeah. I think, well, I think the Sunday slot, right? I think. I believe so, yeah. 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 So, anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you all for joining. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>